Hey everybody, I'm Kena Craze and I'm back with another video for y'all today. Y'all already know those regulars. If this is your very first time here, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and click that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And hey y'all, how y'all doing? Now y'all hungry? I am. Well, let's eat. Day, okay, y'all. I wanted wing stop, okay. So, I have their new one of their chicken sandwiches, one of the new flavors. This is the mango habanero. I have some fries over here. I use some cheese sauce on this one. These fries don't have sauce on them, um, they do have some ketchup. I have um, lemon pepper wings, barbecue wings, some celery, and some corn, y'all. Now, let's say I agree, so we can go ahead and eat a little something, okay. Amen. Y'all, I'm going to try the sandwich first. I got it propped up here. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and try the sandwich. And I want to dip it in here first. Because I know it needs some ranch. Mmm. Okay, that's good. I'm going to put it off to the side for a second. Yes, I'm excited to try that, honey. I've been wanting to try it. I've been wanting to try all of them, really. This is a strawberry answer. Let's get into these cheese fries. Well, it's not got the best dressing. It's gonna be a little messy, y'all. That's what happened today. I told y'all. At this year, I'm working on my anger issues. So today, This situation may not mean much to y'all, but it would have been enough to piss me off and make me go off. Go off toxically. Mm. 
But I did. So my son has dread like me. <clears throat> my son has dread like me. So when it's time for him to get his hair done, a haircut, he lives with his dad, right? So I make the appointment for him, you know. He goes and get his hair cut when Tyson gone. And I make his hair appointment. He works, so he pays for his own stuff, you know? So, he told me he needed an appointment. And he cash. Mm. He cashed out his money for his hair. As soon as he told me to make an appointment, so okay, I'm allowing it. I think he did this maybe like the other day, a couple of days ago. Well, <clears throat> mm. well, He went to go get his hair cut this morning. Him and the guys, him and Tyson and all them. And they couldn't get it cut. Because for some odd reason I know. So the barber couldn't do it. Well, That was this morning. Well, I'm like, okay, well, Cole. You can just still get your hair twisted. You know, re you know, re twist. You know, okay, I'm like, okay, well. <clears throat> you don't have to work, do you? He said, no, mama. Okay. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I know he, you know, he got his hair done and stuff. So I know he done took the proper, you know, steps or whatever. So. They came home about one, two. Because they couldn't get the hair cut. So his hair appointment. Mm -mm. It was at 5 o'clock. <clears throat> 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. Well, now I was going to do something totally different from this video because I was basing it off of what I was going to have to eat in my hometown. I knew, I'm sorry, what I was going to have to eat, you know, in the town I live in because I haven't planned on going anywhere other than to take him. Actually, I was about to go to the store so I can do a mukbang before I took him to go get his um hair done.
spoon. Mm, 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 mm. So, <clears throat> I'm like, I came upstairs to bring some stuff upstairs that I needed. I said, well, Kobe, I'll be ready to take you to get your hair done when I get back from the store and I got the book bag. He's like, oh, mom. I'm like, what? Don't be mad. Not what? But they said I had to come to work. I said, well, you took all right. You said, yes. I'm like, well, tell them you can't go because you got something to do. Like, your head look a mess. Like, you took off. It's not so far that, you know, they don't remember whatever. He was like, he put the time on some kind of scheduling thing. I'm like, okay. So now he said, well, I can't take off because they said, I mean, I can't call out because they told me that. It will be like some no kind of show. He said my friend called me and said that they have me on the schedule. So I'm like, oh my god! First of all, I was getting ready to do a video. I'm I was hungry. Second of all, I'm pissed off because you gotta get your hair done. Like you looking crazy. You need a haircut and you, because he, it's like short around, like around, you know, y'all know how guys have their cut. And his dreads are to his shoulder, but you know, like around, they need to be taped up, shaped up, all that stuff. Faded, whatever. <coughs> so, I'm like, well, I'm going to take you because they don't threaten to fire you, whatever. So, you know, because he's really basically like, yeah, I got to go. So, I'm like, but call him on the phone. I said, call him on the phone. Uh, he called, I was like, well, um, so the lady, I said, <coughs> the lady, the manager answered the phone. Papa told me that he put, in, he put in his request off in some kind of automatic schedule that they tell him that they have to use. And that he also called twice today. I guess to see if his time got approved or whatever. And then didn't answer the phone. So I'm mad. I'm like, well, now if they don't put you on a schedule and you don't ask off, I'm mad because it ain't my fault that they don't have the coverage. Like, you got stuff to do. So I called the lady. I was nice to her. I was not mean at all. She wasn't mean. I said, Kobe said that he put this in a scheduler. This manager didn't do the schedule. But the lady that does do the schedule was there too. But she was busy at the time. So I said, um, I'm asking her, you know, like, if Kobe has to be there, I don't want him to lose his job, so I'm going to bring him. We're on the way. I just need to know, is it in a schedule that he was supposed to be y'all? And y'all just didn't have coverage, you know? So, it's kind of like you're forcing him to work even though he has something to do. That's why I'm going to make sure that's not happening.
Cause I'm mad. Uh -huh, I'm mad because I gotta leave. I'm mad because I was getting ready to do a video. I'm hungry. His barber said that he would cut his hair tomorrow. And he don't live with me. Uh-oh. He lives with his dad. All right, 30 minutes away. And he has to work tomorrow. So I'm like, he worked last night too. So I'm like, y'all can get him one day off because he can go do some things. You know, I'm ready to go to war. Mad. But I'm calm. So I'm saying, I was calm because. I'm working on my little issue. And getting the whole story first because your kids be on some bullshit sometimes. So, anyway, the lady on the phone said that she did not know, but she would check with Rhonda. And I was like, well, you can have Rhonda to call me, too, in a nice way. I'm not going to be mean to her. So, I can talk to her. So, Rhonda calls me back. Says that she talked to Kobe last night. He didn't ask off. It wasn't in the schedule for him to be off. He didn't do it. She said that he called her. He told me when he talks, when he called somebody, he ain't getting about on the phone. She said, well, when he called, she answered and told him that, you know, it's not on the schedule. It's too late for you to, you know, request off the day. The day of. I asked him, no, we were waiting for Rhonda to call me back. I asked Kobe, I said, Kobe, if they have me on the schedule and you tell the truth, then I'm going to get to the bottom of it. If you're not, you just let me know so I will not look like, look like a fool. I won't call. Lo and behold, I had to look like a fool. I didn't get mad. This is why I'm so happy. I'm changing because I wouldn't have even asked questions. I would have just been going off. Half. Just to look stupid like that when it comes down to my kids. Could they be lying? Something told me, just remain calm. It's going to be okay. If he is on a schedule, and she says that if he is on there, we finna go back home, and he finna go do his stuff. If not, then he got to go to work. But yeah, he ain't even asked. He just he lied right to my face. Those kids, they do what they do, y'all. Mine, anyway. Not all three of them, but two out of three do. And I told her, I said... She was like, I promise I didn't see it. And it wasn't on there. Because he called and asked me today, um, could he be off? I told him it was too late. I said, well, it's okay, baby. We on our way. Thank you so much. I'm sorry he's late. I had on speakerphone. He's just sitting there. I ain't saying that.
Son, why why didn't you just ask off? And why didn't you just tell me that you didn't ask off? Lie, try to lie about it. But I just want to tell you I'm proud of myself for not spazzing out. You know, controlling my anger. All that stuff. You 17. Now you got to figure out how to get your hair cut done. Got on my nerve. <laughs> French is good. It's holding me up good. It's good. I would not have been there getting this stuff if it wasn't for uh, me having to take him to work. And there's so many choices. He, he works in the city. One of the main cities in the county. In this county. So, honey, With so many places. Mm -hmm. I was kept thinking. What am I gonna eat it now? I'm enjoying this meal. I am. And I was so hungry. Every time I go, to Wingstop, I never get enough of these. I'm so satisfied. Yeah, I was proud of myself. I talked to both ladies so calm. I didn't even go off on Kobe. I, you know what? I'm proud. I'm proud of myself on that level too. I'm gonna tell you why. Yep, I got me an extra drink because I know me. <clears throat> well, actually, both of these were meals. 
the 10 piece meal and the chicken meal. But I'm not proud of the fact that I have flown off the handle with my children. I have said some bad things, you know, some things that I really regret, regret saying. I really regret it, and I instantly feel bad. When, I don't instantly feel bad after I say it, but after the conversation's over, my anxiety won't let me rest on it, and so I apologize. But I don't even want to say it, you know, in the first place. I just be so angry, and I really want, man, listen, I want to go, I want to cuss his little ass out. I didn't, I ain't, I ain't say nothing, I was too mad. I'm like, excuse me, I was too mad. I ain't say nothing because I was so mad. I ain't say a word, y'all. I'm pretty I'm, I might keep, I got like, what got like five more left? Six more left? But yeah, I ain't even go off, y'all. I just, didn't say nothing. I got my mom. I love you, mom. Love you too. This is how mad I was because you ain't. First of all, you ain't have to lie. And I had stuff to do, and I thought he. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, I'm done. This is it for me. This is so good, and I know Tyson or Brie ain't gonna tear the rest of this slap up. But thank y'all very much for tuning in, y'all. It's it is the year 2023. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and um, put a plan into motion. You got to have a plan. I don't care what you're going to do. If you got to go to a grocery store, you got to have a plan. Your plan is to get out the door. Then it's to open the car door. Then it's to get on the highway. Yeah, you got to have a plan. <coughs> so go ahead and put your plan into action. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. Don't worry about what anybody has to say. Because at the end of the day, the ones that mind, they don't matter. And the ones that matter, y'all, they don't mind. Y'all, we on the road. It's okay. Like, we're really climbing on up there. I'm so happy. Thanks. Thanks for the ones that support it. They always support. I'm going to support you guys back. Um, You know, and keep telling a friend and tell a friend that we over here getting in. You know? Stay crispy and crunchy, my cravings. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Love y'all. Bye.